This is question five from paper three three from the June 2020 exams from Cambridge International. Up the top right of this screen, you'll find a card that will bring you to a playlist that has all my solutions for the questions in this paper. And below the video, you'll find a link to an image of this question. So you can try it before looking at this solution. So in this question, they give us this trigonomic um, equation here, and they ask us to rearrange it so it looks like a quadratic equation, and then solve it. Interestingly enough, uh, when we're rearranging it, you could, you could skip the traditional quadratic equation and get the answer, although they, they specifically asked for the quadratic, so we'll do it that way first, and then at the end, for an extra couple of minutes, I'll go back to halfway into the question and solve it again like that. Right, so the first thing you need to do is really make it look like a quadratic. And what, something I'd suggest is to get lots of things that are the same. Now, many things are different here. We have a tan theta, we have a tan theta plus 45. They're different. And we have a cotangent, two theta, all very different. So I'd like to get them all into the same thing. Now, you can pick any of them to do it, but the easiest by far would be tangent of theta. So we're going to use these four formulas that I have here. The first one, uh, some students forget what cotangent um, is equal to. It's just one divided by tangent. In fact, in some countries, my own included, we rarely write this. Uh, why not just write one over tangent? Um, and let's see, another one, this theta plus 45, we can get rid of that by using the... the um, I don't know what it's called, I, it's, it's, it's blanking in me at the moment, but anyway, tangent of A plus B, we can separate it, rate it out, so we'd get tangent of thetas, and tangent of 45 will come out, and that's just one, tan of 45 is just one. And then lastly, uh, the cotangent of two theta, if we turn it into a tangent, we can then turn a tangent into a tangent of two theta into a tangent of one theta, or a single theta. So we're going to use all these on this and hopefully get quadratics to appear. So let's uh, get started. Uh, we'll just stay rewriting this. Tangent theta, that one's fine. Now this one, instead of this, I'm going to use this formula here. So I get tangent of the, the first one, which is theta, plus tangent of the second one. Tan of 45 is just 1. It's just 1. And that's all divided by 1 minus tangent theta multiplied by 1. 1 minus tangent theta multiplied by 1, which is just tangent theta. And this is equal to, uh, let's do this one slower, 2 divided by tangent 2 theta. I should have taken my time with this if I realized I was going to take my time with this. Okay, let's um, continue on. Uh, I, I'll leave this the You know what, I'll multiply this. No, I'll leave this the way it is. <laughs> I'm trying to think uh, ahead the thing I'm doing at the end of the video. So I'll leave, go ahead and leave this one. 1 minus tangent theta. Okay, is equal to 2 multiplied. 1 divided by this is just this upside down. So I can use this formula just upside down. 1 minus tangent theta squared divided by tangent theta. All right, uh, oh, uh, tangent two theta should be down here, and that two cancels with that two. Now this is where I diverge from how to properly do the question. I would do something different now that would end up getting rid of the quadratic already. Whereas, let's not do that. Uh, let's, let's start multiplying some things. Let's multiply this over this side, and this bottom row on this side. So this side we'll get tangent tangent um, theta squared multiplied by tan theta plus 1. And that's equal to uh, this multiplied by this. Let's uh, do that out. 1 by 1 is 1. Tan theta by 1 is minus tan theta. I'm just looking for all the tans, all the tan squares, and all the tan cubes. Um, let's see, 1 by... Minus tan squared theta is minus tan squared theta. And then lastly, a minus by a minus is a plus. Tan by tan squared is tan cubed. And we're left with that. Uh, you know what? I should have done this already. Let's do this now. Multiply this by the top row. We get 
Uh, we get... Oh, I'm multiplying this tan by this by this. Okay. We get tan cubed theta. So that's this by this, also by this. And this by this, also by this, we get tan squared theta. All right, now look what happens. The tan cubed cancel with the tan cubed. Let's get all our tan squares one side. We get two tan squares. This one plus this one. Let's get this one this side as well. We get plus tan theta. And we move the one over. We get minus one equals zero. That's our quadratic. That's the quadratic they wanted us to find. And uh, we can go ahead and solve that. I think we can factorize it. Yes, we can. Um, okay, let's go ahead and factorize this. Open two big brackets for it, equals zero. We're gonna need a two tan theta, and we're gonna need a tan theta, and one and one will make one. So let's see if can we make this work. Uh, two theta times one minus one theta times, uh, sorry, one times tan theta will make the one tan theta here. So that's a minus, that's a plus. If you'd like, change the tan theta into y. Um, let's just put that up here. Tan theta equals maybe x, in fact. Let's change it into x. You could have done this at the very start of the question. It uh, would have saved you a lot of writing, but I thought I'd do it out slowly this way. Okay, so we get these two um, things. That means that 2 tan theta is equal to 1. It means tan theta is equal to a half. Or the other possibility is tan theta is equal to minus one and we can solve for these theta is equal well actually before solving for these let me go ahead and draw a quick picture of tangents that's what tan looks like this says going on both directions but if we read the question again they told us that the answer theta was bigger than sorry bigger than zero and less than 90 degrees. That means it's bigger than zero, it's, this is not, this doesn't exist, and it's less than 90, here's 90 degrees here. So I'll rub this one out, I'll rub all this out. So that means the answer has to be in here, tan theta has to equal these numbers here. So tan theta could equal a half, that's fine. That'll give us an answer. But tan theta will never equal minus one. There's no, there's no answer for minus one in this world because they've cut the world up here. So, so this one here, we can go ahead and ignore it. And we'll solve for this, put that in a calculator, we'll get theta is equal, the inverse tangent of a, let me write it down, the inverse tangent of a half, and that is theta is equal 26.6, I think, yes, 26.6. That's, that's it, that's the answer, the question answered. Um, if you get the two answers, you would lose a mark. Even if this one's correct, you would lose a mark. They only wanted the one answer. Although if you had a, uh, just searched for this, you would have got, uh, I guess, minus 45, if I'm, if I'm correct. I haven't checked that. And, minus, and then at that point, if you'd noticed that that was outside the world, that would have been okay as well. But once you told the examiner this is not okay, quick line through it, and you can write in English. I, I have got rid of this because of this reason, but a quick extra, I think. Is, you want the examiner still to be able to read something, but always put a line through it if you want them to think you think it's wrong. Okay, um, let me go back to this equation here. And uh, yeah, let me just rub this out. Yeah, you're on video, you can pause it if you need to read this. And I'm gonna solve this a slightly different way. And the problem with the way I'm about to do it, it's a little faster and a little quicker, but there's no quadratic, so that's a problem. Um, I just noticed that one minus tan squared, that's the difference of squares right there. Well, first of all, also tan, tan x, tan theta, well, let's get rid of that. Tan theta, multiply both sides, we'll do that. Um, yeah, I noticed that this is the difference of squares here. We get uh, one squared, minus tan theta squared. So we can actually rewrite that as one minus tan, one plus tan. Let's see, there's one plus tan is here. Divide both sides by one plus tan. They both go. 
Uh, multiply this across, we're left with tan squared theta is equal, well this squared, which is 1 minus 2 tan, I'm just multiplying these two, um, plus, minus by minus, or plus, plus tan squared theta, well tan squared cancels with tan squared, leaves 0 over there, and let's bring this over, we get 2 tan theta is equal 1, we get tan theta is equal a half, we solve for this, we get theta is equal 26.6. Same answer, um, just there's no quadratic. Or I guess you could call this a quadratic if you really wanted. I don't know if the examiner will give you full marks for doing this. I think they probably would, but I haven't been able to find the answer. I did a quick look uh, through the marking scheme. There was no reference to doing this way. The question did imply that you needed a quadratic formula. I guess this is a quadratic formula. You've just cancelled out the quadratic parts. Um, so I think they'd give you full marks, but I just wanted to show you it. Um, and I wanted to warn you that maybe you shouldn't do it that way. All right, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer. And until next time, have a good one.